from powerful war horses and workhorses to the one monstrous specimen that is nearly the size of a small elephant, here are the 11 biggest horses of all time. Number 11. Norwegian Dole It is said that a man's best friend is the dog. Well, except for a horse, that is. The Norwegian Dole is a prime example of that. He's massive and has a rich history of working hard for us humans. Originally from the Gudbrandsdal Valley in Norway, the Dole is a strong and disciplined horse breed and is very good at strenuous labor work such as farming and transporting heavy goods. These beauties are often dark brown or black and can grow up to 5 feet tall at the shoulder. They can weigh around 1300 to 1700 pounds. That's pretty impressive, no? But these aren't even the biggest horses in the world, not even close. During the German occupation of Norway in the 1940s, they used doles extensively for logistics and military transportation requirements. However, after the war, when Europe gradually became industrialized and had less use for military horses, the breeding of the stallion declined, and today, they are mostly there for racing and show business. Number 10. Russian Heavy Draft from agriculture and countless wars to even early transport, many of history's most famous people have ridden on horses, but no breed of horses sacrificed more than the Russian heavy draft horse. The Russian heavy draft was first introduced by the late Russian Empire, and then later was adopted by the Soviet Union as a workhorse. It was muscular, strong, and short. Of course, it was well adapted to the harsh climates and the environment in regions such as Siberia, where it was used as a labor horse for agricultural and industrial work. Sadly, compared to many other horses, this horse's life was rather miserable. It was solely used for heavy-duty work and not for any other purpose, like for shows or for leisure riding or even for races. Life in Siberia was no fun, especially not for the horses who had to work hard to earn their keep. And guess what's even more shocking? In the Soviet Union, it was business as usual to eat horse meat when times got rough back then. Why? Mainly because of the frequent food shortages and famines in the early days of the country. This poor fellow was used for meat and for its milk as well. The Russian draft stands at 5 feet tall while weighing around 1,500 pounds. Now that's a lot of meat. Number 9. Fjord. Behold the mighty Fjord. This stallion is actually among the most ancient horse breeds in the world. Zoologists believe that it was the Vikings that first bred the Fjord. That's well over 1,000 years ago. And they also suggest that wilder ancestors of this horse might have survived in the region for almost 4,000 years before that. Now that's a survivor. Just like many other strong breeds of horses, this one is strong and agile and was favored by many for agricultural work and heavy lifting. However, compared to the other horse breeds, Fjord is a bit smaller, standing around 5 feet tall and weighing about 1100 to 1300 pounds. Fjords mostly have a lighter skin complexion. Nevertheless, Fjord is one of the strongest and the oldest breeds of horse known to humanity, and it will continue to be so, with such a majestic name it's no wonder they have a rich and lengthy pedigree. Have you ever ridden a horse? What kind of horse? What was it like? Did you just walk or let the horse gallop and try to go as fast as possible? Tell me about it in the comments below. While you're at it, remember to subscribe to The Biggest if you haven't already. Amazing videos just like this one get released all the time, and subscribing is the only way to make sure you catch all of them. Number 8. Australian Draft Horse now back in the land down under, the Aussies had a big problem. For agriculture and for show purposes, there were not many good horses on their continent. Why? Simply because the environment is very different in Australia compared to Europe. Frankly, it was not a great place for a horse. But all that changed back in the early 1970s when the Australian draft horse became a reality. The Aussie draft horse was created through a combination of various European horses was bred to be exclusively adaptable for the Australian environment. Because it is a combination of many horse breeds, the Australian draft horse has inherited all the majestic looks, beautiful colors, 
and raw strength of its ancestors. On average, these horses stand between 5 foot 3 and 5 foot 6 inches at the shoulder and weigh nearly 2,000 pounds. Number 7. Dutch Draft Something about breeding horses in the last century has led to absolute monsters. The Dutch draft horse, like the Russian and Australian ones, is quite a recent large horse breed. They appeared first after the end of the First World War, and were a result of crossbreeding between Ardennes and Belgium draft horses. They too inherited the best of both worlds from their ancestors and are among the strongest horse breeds out there. Their strength is renowned for farm work and pulling jobs, and they compete in plowing events and farm work even today. Visually, they are muscular and short. In fact, they are shorter than other large horse breeds, standing a little bit under 5 feet tall. But that is in no way a problem for these mighty beasts. However, with the effects of the Second World War, their numbers dwindled around Europe. As a result, apart from being big and strong, Today, they are actually among the rarest of the horse breeds in Europe. Number 6. Suffolk Punch Just like the Queen is a symbol of British heritage, so is the gentle Suffolk Punch. They are among the oldest breeds from ancient Britannia, with early records of them dating back to the 15th century. They too, just like many other horse breeds, are renowned for their agility and strength in farming and forestry. These giants can grow to almost 6 feet and can even weigh nearly 2,200 pounds. The British Suffolk Punch has influenced other major horse bloodlines, including the legendary Vladimir Heavy Draft, but they too have suffered from the two world wars and are now very rare. However, their striking figure, gentle posture, and chestnut color many efforts are taken to preserve them and they are widely popular in the fields of advertising marketing, and entertainment. There is an American version of the Suffolk Punch too, but they have crossbred with Belgian drafts and are different in appearance. The British even exported this majestic animal to Pakistan in the 20th century and used it to crossbreed with native breeds such as Pakistani horses and donkeys. The resulting animals were even stronger than their ancestors. Number 5. Belgian Draft this blonde beauty first rose to prominence after the Second World War and is very popular for pleasure riding. Of course, who wouldn't like to ride on a majestic and steadfast steed? Although they are a bit lower than a few of the absolute tallest horses in their height, Belgian drafts are among the biggest horse breeds in the world. On average, an adult horse can grow up to 5 feet 9 inches and can weigh almost 2,000 pounds. The most famous Belgian horse was the absolute giant named Brooklyn Supreme. And just like the name suggests, it was a massive 3,300 pounds and an incredible 6 feet 2 inches tall. Fortunately, unlike many of their counterparts, Belgian draft horses are not rare and not at risk of extinction. Would you like to ride one of these gentle giants? Let me know down there in the comments. Number 4. Percheron these mighty giants get their name from their original place of birth, Perche, which is today known as the Wiesen River Valley in France. Although it's hard to know exactly when they came into contact with people, sources suggest that it could be as early as in 496 AD, during the late Roman times. Although they are a popular European breed, because of their long history on the continent, they have been heavily influenced by Arabic and Asian horse breeds, since as early as the 8th century AD. This can be seen from their prominent light figure, slender necks, and lighter skin color. Depending on the country, a typical Percheron can vary in size from 5 feet 6 inches to an extreme 6 feet 5 inches, and they too can get up to 2,000 pounds in weight. But unlike many other horse breeds, these horses are rarely used for farm work and are mostly popular in competitions, parades, and shows. Of course, that is what you do when you are pretty. And these horses are absolutely beautiful. Number 3. Clydesdale Clydesdale horses are among the most popular horse breeds in the world. Hailing from Scotland, they are well known for their raw energy and stamina. 
Clydesdales are bigger and heavier than most of their counterparts. On average, a full-grown horse can stand 6 feet tall and weigh an astonishing 2,000 pounds. One specific member of the Clydesdale family is among the largest horses in history. King Laguerre was a whopping 6 foot 10 inches tall and weighed 2,300 pounds. Because of their size and strength ever since the 18th century, the Clydesdales were seen as efficient agricultural and forestry animals. However, today, because these strong steeds are also visually appealing, with their beautiful muscular appearance and white feathered hooves, they are used in parades, carriages, and shows as well. Of course, many people know the most famous Clydesdales as the ones associated with the brand Budweiser, pulling the wagon filled with their signature brews. It was a smart marketing move, putting this incredible beast as the mascot for a beverage. Number 2. Shire Horse A classic British stallion, the Shire Horse is one of the oldest horse breeds in the world. There's evidence that suggests Shires were used as war horses during the medieval era. You should have heard of knights in shining armor riding into battles valiantly, right? They probably rode Shires. And why shouldn't they? Shires are the biggest horse breed in the world. They could grow well beyond 6 feet and can exceed 2,900 pounds. Shires are renowned for their raw strength and speed, and even after medieval times, they were used for industrial and agricultural work. Usually, they come in a variety of colors, including black, gray, chestnut, and even light brown. These gentle giants are a sight to behold and are among the most intelligent and noble of the horse breeds. If you are a beginner rider, Shires are considered one of the best breeds for you to start with. Number 1. Samson This is the biggest individual horse of all time. Samson, who was owned by Thomas Cleaver in 19th century England, stood 7 feet tall by the time he was a mere 4 years old. What do you think his owner did? Renamed him Mammoth, of course, and showed him off for many years. Samson was born in 1846 in Toddington Mills, Bedfordshire, England. He was a Shire horse, but he was the tallest and heaviest of any Shire horse ever. At his heaviest, he weighed in at an unprecedented 3,360 pounds. I would not want to mess with him, but I imagine riding him would be an experience like no other. Surely Samson would have been a noble mount for a humongous knight in shining armor if he had been around during the Middle Ages, but instead he was a curiosity that belongs in the record books for all time. Do you think another horse will ever surpass Samson in size and strength? It's unlikely, but possible with modern genetic engineering. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And that is the end of the countdown of the biggest horses of all time. Don't forget to subscribe to The Biggest, and we'll see you again soon with something even bigger and better in our next video.